what's going on guys i'm dragos pasco it's 10 a.m in the morning and i'm pretty tired but this is the only time when i can record and edit and stuff so i decided to make a new video for you guys and it's all about my new working approach it's not really a new approach but actually i've changed my training style a little bit I mean, I've started to use uh, or to put in practice uh, progressive overload. What does it mean? Well, uh, it's a type of exercising that uh, increases your strength or resistance. Depending if you are an endurance uh, athlete, then you want to increase your resistance. If you are a bodybuilder or a fitness model or whatever, you want to increase your strength so uh, afterwards you'll build more muscles. Let's start with the beginning. I made some notes here in a Word document so I don't uh, forget anything that I want to talk with you guys. Uh, four days ago I scaled myself and I was 75.1 kilograms. That means that during the summer, three months and a half maybe, I didn't gain any weight at all. But actually I could see some difference at my chest and my abs but anyways I didn't gain weight which means that I didn't gain muscles, not that much maybe. So I decided to increase my calorie intake which is now 300, sorry, 3300 calories, about uh, 165 uh, proteins, 65 fat and uh, around 300 than carbs but anyways it depends on the day maybe sometimes I get more carbs and less fat or more fat and less carbs I don't mind as long as I've got two grams per kilogram of body of protein I don't mind at all seriously I just need to have at least at least uh, 3300 calories so I I'm sure that I will gain weight during the time so uh, what it's all about uh, with this uh, progressive overload? Uh, let's say, for example, that I can squat with 20 kilograms, right? But my form isn't that good with 20 kilograms. So I decrease the weight. I go to 15 kilograms, and I do. I perform four sets, right? Four sets of of uh, eight reps. Each set eight reps, and uh, for every rep, oh, sorry, for every set. I use only 15 kilograms, not less, not more. 15 kilograms, right? So I perform. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I perform. I perform uh, eight sets. Anyways, opt means uh, eight in Romanian, and I'm kind of tired right now, so sorry. All right. Here is an example of progressive overload approach. Uh, this is from the last week when I first started this progressive overload. As you can see, there was my for set of 8 reps, I went for 70 kilos for my bench press, which was a little bit too light, but I did well, as you can see right here, finish my second set, I had a really, really good, I think, posture and form and everything was great, so that's why this week, the following week, I could permit myself to increase the weight once again. So I perform uh, four sets of eight reps, and I've started doing that uh, right there on the wall. Doesn't matter at all. Uh, I've got a plan with squats, bench press, and deadlifts, and maybe in the future over shoulder press because I want to increase the weight for that as well. So I started to record my uh, weightlifting. So. I know for the next time that I can increase the weight or I still need to keep up that weight and increase my uh, mobility or perform um, a better posture or maybe I can decrease the time between the sets or so so on. I've, I've got some example he examples here. For example, you can increase the exercises, but I'm not doing that. I will stick with 8 reps because 8 reps, there is a fact that 8 reps is the 
most efficient number of reps for building mass. Yeah. Uh, you can decrease the rest time between the sets. I will do that in the future. Uh, increase intensity. Yeah. Uh, that means that you can take a training partner and uh, train uh, until um, until uh, you can't perform anymore. But that's I don't know. It's not very good because sometimes if you push beyond your limits and you can't do any more reps, that means that you truly destroy your muscle and it's not good to train it one more time uh, in that week, which means that you can't train more than once every week and that's not good as well. <laughs> yeah, so um, what I wanted to point to you guys, it's a very important thing. It's more like a, not a physical but a psychological thing. Uh, mm, let's say that today I'm performing better than last week and I will increase my squat, right? I will do 4 sets, 8 reps but with 20 kilograms, right? That's good. I increased my weight by 5 kilograms, which means that I've gained strength. Yeah, that's it. But let's say that uh, next week I won't be able to lift 20, uh, sorry, to squat 20 kilograms for sets for 8 reps. Which means that I lost my strength? No, don't worry. There are some times when you, I don't know, you gain strength and sometimes when you've got a bad day or you're just too tired to exercise and you can't perform as you did last week. But don't worry, you'll do this progressive overload for at least, at least 6 months. During those six months, you can go down a little bit, and afterwards you can gain weight. You will never lose, uh, sorry, you gain uh, strength. You will never lose strength because as long as you eat correctly, which means you get your protein intake and carbs and fat and blah blah blah, uh, you will not lose strength. Uh, actually, you can lose strength if you totally change your training which means that you will perform more reps with less weight yeah that means that in some time maybe a few months you will start losing strength but not in that case not in our case because we won't change the training style anymore and this approach of progressive overload is not really a change it's like um, something more for my bulking uh, my bulking time because um, during your bulking you want to gain as much muscles as you can right and this progressive overload will help you to gain more muscle because you gain strength and afterwards automatically you gain muscle so yeah that was it with the uh, progressive overload guys I'm sorry because I'm talking too fast or not very correctly but I'm tired I need to go to my courses I'm very busy these days but I need to stick to my channel because I want to grow, right? So thank you very much for watching. This was the second episode of Booking Series. Uh, I'm preparing, preparing some more, maybe next Sunday or next week. I won't promise anything. I will prepare some more episodes for you guys, informative episodes about my supplements, maybe about my nutrition and so on. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it give it the thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section below and stay tuned for more thank you very much bye